well hello and welcome to this very calm and chill stream yes jokes aside um we are working on fucking <clears throat> on a browser you know <coughs> jesus christ um i'm working on a browser and see with alongside like two two or three more libraries and I want to implement something very interesting because lately I've been implementing a library that um, I mean I've been adding a, I added a library that um, that enables me to par to parse HTML as you can see and like now the thing I need is like to loop through the to the to the tree through through the tree of like um, of the whole website because if you send the request. You click this and it will send a request using the curl lib. The whole webs, the whole page, I guess page, the whole app is displayed with JTK library. Then it's using the curl lib to fetch, and then it's using the lex bar, which is brave, which is not brave, but which is this one, lex bar. This library here. Uh, and yeah, I, I just saw and I was like, okay, let let just try it, you know. And I'm, I'm now I'll be trying to implement some sort of um, like a an algorithm to run through the to to the whole thing. If node ns, oh here I have to go back to the node to take a look at the node because I'm not um, I don't understand what that is. So the NS namespace. What the fuck is a namespace? Uh, HTML node namespace. Is it no namespace. Okay, namespace URI. The hell is a namespace? Why is this documentation so suck over the for for this library? Like I literally can't find it. I mean, if I go like look, if I go lex, if I could type first of all lex bar documentation. Let's see, actually. NS, node NS. If it's only equal to LXB NS HTML, what the hell are those? Const Lexbor NS. Hmm. Like, this is the whole documentation. Just one page telling me how things are structured, and that's it. Like, there is no help. Objects. Most structured objects have an API to create, initialize, clean, and delete. I mean, no shit, but like, I need the names, like, to. Wait, HTML. This module contains all the HTML specification. Okay. HTML standard. Namespaces? Simple ma. No, wait. Namespaces. Currently, the item scope, item prop, and other microdata attributes are only defined for HTML elements. This means that. Attributes with the literal names, item scope, item scope, item prop, etc. Do not cause micro data processing to occur on elements uh, in other namespaces such as SVG. But what the fuck is a namespace? Namespace is meaning HTML. Namespace is a context for identifying a logical grouping of names using a program within the same context. What is an HTML namespace? An namespace is a set of unique names. The same space is a is a mechanism is a mechanism by which element attribute name can be assigned to a group. <coughs> the namespace is identified by URI. Uniform resource identifiers to organize code into logical groups and prevent name collisions that can occur, especially when I'm stupid. It's literally just like. Um, namespaces in C++ and other shit. Okay, I think K kind of similar. Has the same result, I would say. I need a. But I'm just gonna experiment. LXB DOM node T. A temporary node. Or something like let's say I don't know main node. Okay, so main node which is going to be equal equal to node. And we'll be we'll be experimenting with the main node rather than the node directly. I don't know why. I'm just feeling like it. So main node. If it's going to 
be equal to the LXB tag document, which is going to be, usually. If it's not going to be, we will do the opposite, like, return... We'll do this later, actually. But now I just want to get the other logic around uh, to do. So, but usually it should just return the current node. As far as I know. No? No, I don't think so. In either case, I need an indentation layer as well. So, size, I guess size D. Let's do, yeah, let's size D. Indentation layer. Uh, this function to in at my output. For example, to print the tree structure, the indent is the number of spaces before the string. What is this then? What the fuck? Okay, I'm just gonna yoink this into my code. Uh, so I'll remove this, paste, and then, then remove this, and what should I do here? I guess call, like, show the local name of the, <clears throat> of the current node. So let's do local name. Or maybe node D, then end line, and indent is going to be the indentation layer. And the node D is going to be the main node. As far as I know, I need a pointer. No, actually not. I don't need a pointer for now, I think. Main node. Uh, this alongside local name. And because this is a pointer itself, you have to pull this into a pointer that's what it's called local serialize with the main node first child and since this is a pointer in of itself it's okay I don't need anything to do here so and uh, I guess indentation layer plus one plus plus yeah okay I can even remove this next I'm supposing next is the next the next node so hopefully it is and not something else that the documentation failed to showcase me serialize main node and it will be equal to the next one and then indentation layer should be the same because we're still in the same layer okay and if we have come so far without actually anything going wrong I think we should return a LXB status, okay. Yeah, and now that I think about it, I should put this into some kind of brackets and check for the status. I don't think if this is the best way to do it, but hey, I mean, for now it's going to work. Status, and then if status is not equal to LXB status, okay, return um lxp status error same here if status is not equal to lxp status okay return lxp status error oh jesus that's all the shit okay <clears throat> for now i'm going to uh, comment this out because I'm, I'm interested to see what this does so far um, so if we go here... HTTP example okay oh my god it's really tan okay this is a lot of shit jesus christ what the fuck now that's too much jesus it shouldn't be this much okay in any way i guess it works i don't know uh now if we go here remove this why doesn't this work though <laughs> it's a pointer points to the same thing okay and then Wait, 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 wait. You and PTR. This is an unsigned long... Wow. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Thanks for the naming conventions that are always clear. 
HTTP example.com. Oh, I'm still sec faulting. Okay. But at least I got something out. I'm thinking of this is the issue. Like, should it be this? Hmm. Good question. Because I have no idea how to answer it. Let's see. Wait, 201. What the fuck is 201? Um. Oops. 201. It's 65. I think that's the head, guys. Or HTML tag. Uh, 60. HTML. That's it. That's it. We won. We won. We won. We won. I know what the issue is. Yeah. I'm lost. Yeah. I'm back. Okay. Um. Make all. TP. Example.com. Ah, it crashed again. Okay, nice. I mean, we saw at least one bug. I really am lost, and I'm not sure why that's the, why there is an issue over there. So main node, lo uh, next. Except this is a there's not gonna be one. So we need to go first child, and then this is a HTML. So it needs another first child to get to the head, which will then contain. In a next element, which is which will be the body. So, following all of those rules, we should find the the body. The body information. I mean, um, thirty one. Thirty one is a one f. One f. One f. One f. One f. One f. It's a body. It works. I have to go here. Break. Here. Um, e S. This. P X. Oh god. This. Hmm. What if I try to do it like this? Okay, it's a P. How the fuck is it a P? No test no what P Q R no that's not what I what I mean X P uh, nope that's not it that's not it we're moving a lot of stuff into Rex why is that what the hell is happening here next die next die next die next die next die those two moving from RX to RSI RSI? Hold on. Oh, RSI is the second one. Okay, cool. Oh my god, I'm stupid. Uh, I was questioning myself this. Like, <clears throat> why doesn't it have any child? Like, any children? Because I forgot the fact that I, that I added this into my code. Fuck. Because obviously the example.com has a title and has children in the head tag. Oh my god, such a stupid mistake. Such a stupid mistake. HTML output PDR. HTML output dot length. Make all. Actually, yeah, make all. HTTP example dot com. It still fails. But, 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 but actually it doesn't even work this time. Node 3. It gets, to, it gets to the node, and then it fails. Oh yeah, right. It fails because wait, is it because of this? Um, because of this. I have no idea until I actually test it. Fuck's sake. Like all. Should be next. Thing. Fetching child five. Why five? Five what? Doc type. Okay. A dog type, of course. And then? Fetching the child. It starts firstly at a 3, which is a strange thing in of itself already. Because it would it just start at 5 and then go to 3. Or maybe not, I guess. 3, 5, and then go to the HTML, and then go to. Because it's the document, yeah. Okay. 
Okay, I'm mixing up the document with the HTML tag. I can try to find some um, some function that does tries to do the same. Oh, I'm an idiot actually. It's here, right here, right in front of my eyes. First, file. Are you kidding me? Oh wait, hmm. it's doing the same thing, bro. What the fuck? And now it works. Okay, I'm actually done with this. Oh my god. Jesus. Oh my god. Okay. I need to fix the indentation though because it sucks. Okay, so 3, 5. I can actually do a much simpler example because I have my HTTP localhost. I had. So, system CTL star status HTTPD. Yeah, as you can see, it's disabled. So, start HTTPD. Now it's active and running. So, if I do it now, hopefully, curl HTTP localhost. It was, I would say, P, uh, AP with high. So, HTTP localhost. And we get this. A3, okay, with a 101, okay, with a body alongside a P, if this is a P, I guess, whatever it is, yeah. So 3-1, 3-1 is kind of, kind of, I have no idea where, 3-1, 1-F again, 1-F, 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 1-F. It's a, okay, it's a body. One, four, five, ninety-one. Ninety-one. This is a long one. P. Yeah, P. Okay. Cool. 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 